thank you for watching. Another beautiful Lord's Day. Feels mighty fine out here. We got the wind chimes going. I know everybody likes to hear those. And uh, but what a beautiful morning this is. A beautiful fall morning. Uh, good time to get out and go to church and, and praise the Lord for giving us a beautiful world that He has. Uh, this morning we'll get on our sick list. We got Ronnie Robinson, Ashlyn Hurd, Jeremy Judkins, uh, Bonnie, uh, Becky Lottie Barks, uh, Joella King, Doyle Duke, Bruce Lewis, Steve Comer, Kathy Smith, Lee Heath, Carter Brown, Naomi Blair, Luana Peeler, Beanie Blair, Taylor Blanton, Steve, and Judy Milburn, uh, Sharon Armstrong, Buddy Davenport, uh, Jason Morris, Pam Brown, Claude Cunningham. Uh, we need to send sympathy to the family of Bobby Mangle and Star Little. Uh, so please keep all these folks in your prayers and the families. And uh, 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 this morning we're going to be uh, talking a little bit more. We, uh, our, my last uh, little lesson was about uh, omission and commission, the sin of omission and commission. So we're going to carry on a little bit here with that. And. Uh, it says here that omission is willful disobedience. When a parent tells their child that they're not allowed to play a video games until after their homework is done, but then they do it anyway, this is a clear act of disobedience. They did something they weren't supposed to do. We'd call this a sin of commission. As, and However, if a parent tells their child to clean the room and they don't this is also a way of act of disobedience, but it's not because of something they've done. It has more to do with what they haven't done. This is a sin of omission. In the Bible, sins of omission are acts of disobedience, just as serious as those committed. When God tells the Christians to worship, speak, or act, and they refuse, they have disobeyed. It says in James 4, 17, therefore, to one who knows to do the right thing uh, and and does it not, to him it is sin. Omission hurts those around us and, and neglects our calling. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said that the Christians are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a, ba a basket. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. That's Matthew 5, 13 through 16. 1 John 3, 17 and 18 also reminds us that whoever has the world's goods and sees his brother in need and chooses and closes his heart against him, how does God love, uh, how does the God of the love of God abide in him. Little children, let us not love with the word or the, with the tongue, but in tr deed and in truth. Serving God involves serving others. The more Christians love God and the more their hearts align with his. Sins of omission can be motivated by fear, complacency, or pride. In any case, when, when Christ's followers fail to love or share his love, they fail to be the salt and the light uh, and so neglect their calling. So we got to be careful about that. You know, we go through our lives every day and I know we see things or we know things or uh, we realize that things that we need to do. And if it's in our power, we need to do that. You know, that's God's uh, will for us that we um, do go, do his work for him, you know, and, and just, help out, you know, and do things for others that we can. Uh, and we go through our lives and, you know, we, we know to do good and yet we don't. And then, you know, we think about that and, and I know I've done it. I, I've thought a lot of times about, you know, I'm supposed to do something and and I just didn't get it done and I forgot about it. And uh, that's, that's, that's not good. We don't need to be doing that. We need to do all the things that we can do and, uh, and you know we we've got to be careful, uh, you know, not to sin, but we've got to be careful that we uh, don't forget to do the things that we need to do, and that's just as bad as as uh, other things that we don't need to do. So, 
it's a it's a it can be a complicated issue but we know what's good we know what's bad and we just need to do what's good so keep that in mind uh let's pray for our country this week you know the election's coming up and uh we hope that uh, everything goes good and uh, we can uh you know uh become a country that will do the good things that god would have us to do and hopefully everything will work out okay um, please keep our servicemen and women in your prayers and our doctors and nurses and uh, uh, all our first responders and all those uh, that keep us safe and healthy and uh, please pray for our country and please don't forget our folks on the sick list uh, keep them in your prayers well thank you for watching i hope you got something out of this god bless and see you next time